Is it Mutka? Mutka? Irumutka? I'm sure uh, Tobias will tell me. So, environment artist, student, Finland. My brain's like Tampa? I don't know. <laughs> like, it, it sees Tampa. I don't know. Um, let's make sure we've got... So, hoping you get a junior position after finishing up my studies. Thing, uh, studies anything that that will help get me there, you're open for. Uh, name pronunciation. M I'm, s I'm saying Mutka, Mutka, and then Iro, Iro. This is, this is a tricky one for me. Anywho, this temple scene actually is on our Instagram. I think you should order pizza. Sorry, random. Uh, this scene looks pretty cool. Attention to detail, specifically right here, is pretty nice. I like the the way you portrayed the moss here. There's some weird stuff going on with the way that the... Like, it feels like there's alpha cutout and then albedo but no like normal information to like signify what this stuff is. Oh man, that's rough down there. So this is down below. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, this stuff's really cool. The kind of like frozen vines. I can't do this song, man. Um, oh, dude. So your uh, exercise in, in shader work is great. Like, that's that's awesome. Yeah, that type of control is really nice. And then being able to vertex paint snow. The thing I would say with the vertex painting of snow uh, while it is really cool, I think that the edge where the vertices or where the vertex paint starts to end, you need to build into the shader a mask that's revealed. That way the edge isn't so soft uh, in the transition because then it just looks like vertex paint. But if you have like a mask that's exposed, that transitions from snow to not based off vertex paint, then you'll get a lot more uh, believable surface. Later, McDad. Enjoy, dude. Uh, this this type of detail is really cool. So, hmm, man, this is this looks great here. I really like this. Houdini has a cool snow node. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I think it actually like builds geometry and clumps it on top of things, which is that sounds magical. Um, so compositionally. I would say this looks pretty good. I think, uh, I think there's supposed to be a bridge here. I feel like a bridge is supposed to be here, or it's like a puzzle where you're supposed to like grab a rope and like swing across or something like that. I mean, I ha I haven't played the recent God of War, but uh, I probably need to. I, dude, it's, it looks great. But I think compositionally, it's it's hard to tell what's going on as far as the space and what you're navigating through. Visually, though, it's pretty interesting. And I think uh, for what it is, it looks pretty good. These spikes, man. Uh, let's, let's go on to this turret here. So this looks awesome. You're using a 256 by 256. Texture set for the glass parts and a 2048 for the rest. Rendered in EV. Nice. It's cool to see some work coming through the EV viewport. So in general, this I mean, this looks cool to me. There's a lot of character to it, which is really, really nice to see. Wow. Dude, seeing this type of stuff, super. It's, it's cool looking to me. Man, that is an optimized asset as well.
even from your own concept. That's great. This is, uh, I like this one. I think uh, roughness variation here could be nice. Like these, uh, these coils here, if they're metal or like a rubber, like I feel like I need to see a rubber material somewhere in here. Like maybe this, this cable needs to be more rubber like in its roughness, but I, that could just be me as well. Like if this uh, actually collapses inside of this based on like weight, maybe some scratches in the roughness that display that it slides like that. And I just realized the, the wooden leg, this is freaking awesome. Really good work. So then you have your feudal Japan stuff, that's cool. Wow, it's really, really uh, painterly. And the approach with this is really nice. The end result is really good. Man, I, I don't have much to say on this one. Maybe, again, roughness variation. But if you were going for a very painterly look, then I think you're, you're probably fine. Yeah, this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a tassel look that good. <laughs> that's That's pretty sick. I like it. And then, uh, what is this? Is your uh, next prop for the challenge as well? Man, the weight. The weight feels great in this. Roughness variation is pretty nice. I feel like maybe you could have gotten a, a more interesting uh, surface information on here if you use a specular color and um, tried to highlight some of the grain in the spec spec color just for like I guess it would be like um like varnish or like it's it's a layer on top of the wood so you get like two different aspects of it you get this stuff which is the the shiny surface and then you get the specular information happening below that so it's like two layers of uh material information Man, this is cool the painted look on the end here too is really nice So you know what's interesting? I think uh, when people display a packed uh, map, I think doing like a slice so that you can see kind of what the roughness ranges were and see what the metallic ranges were. and Because we know what occlusion is going to look like, right? But to see what the roughness looks like and the metallic looks like would be nice. I mean, you could just make this a GIF and have it swap between, between them on that too. Pretty good work though, I think. Man, it's really impressive. So you can see like down here how the uh, the edges are so like that's a that's a box, as straight up a box, but the bake really hides that, really really hides that. It's pretty sick. Yeah, this is impressive. I mean. I think I just need to see another, I kind of want to see a feudal Japan scene with your assets being of this quality, like that, I think your next scene is going to be substantially better than your last one. Just the growth, I, it looks like you're growing quite quickly. I think it's, I think it's time for at least a diorama maybe. I mean, I think you kind of have one in here. I would love to see this in some mud something oh man I didn't even realize I was broken man so much character it's great it makes me uh, makes me happy characters everything uh, but yeah all right I guess I will go on to the next portfolio nice work um, I look forward to your next environment all right be right back <laughs> 